Hey everyone, Cuddlemon here, and welcome back to some more Mori. So, in the last episode, we ended up find we fixed the cart, and now we're heading to this pink castle. What the fuck is that? I guess he's dead. Okay. Well, that was fun. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. They're they're dead. They're they're all dead. That's that's great. I'm. I don't. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a lot of dead sprout moles. Something pinched my chest. What the fuck was that? You know? Alright. That's okay. That's fine. Why is everything fading to black? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That is a... That's a thing. That's a caterpillar. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> um, We're gonna fight it. That's what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna stab it right in its fucking heart. And everyone's pretty low on health. And this is not gonna be great. I'll tell you that. That's that's enough. Um, deals damage to all foes. I guess so. Sure. All right. We're gonna. Okay. Let's. I didn't even check its health. I oh, know. Wait. There's no reason to. No wait, reason to. Ch he just killed almost everyone, except Aubrey. A sprout mole appears. Um, st stab him? He's not. Hold on. No. I think we're gonna stab the. What the fuck do I do? I can't. Oh, too low on health, I guess. Alright. We're just gonna attack at them, I guess. There's. No I don't know what else to do. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. I am dead. <laughs> I don't think there's a way- I don't think there was a way to beat that. I don't- I- what the fuck was that? I was not expecting to start this episode off with a fucking, uh, boss battle. Yeah, can I- can I run away? No, I can't. It's just gonna start right back. That's fucking great. I'm dead. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna, um, we're just gonna start healing people. Um... A wing of chat. We're just gonna start doing that. All right. Can I? Can I do whatever that is? I. I'm not. I don't think there's any to be shared with a friend. Use on whom? Definitely gonna use it on Cal because he needs it. And then you're just gonna. I, I don't know. Just everyone. Just everyone. Just use whatever they have. Everyone. Just. Just use whatever the fuck you have. There's. There's nothing else to do. I. I wasn't expecting to start off with a fucking boss battle that didn't even heal him what the hell was that and gray hero's dead mm -hmm. I don't know. sprout mole appears i don't know what the sprout mole is even gonna do oh my god okay we're all right we're all right maybe do i maybe attack the, the sprout mole i mean we can do it we can try it we can try it we can try anything i think I don't know what it's gonna do though. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's just not even funny. Okay, he ate it. Oh. We'll just we'll try. What? What? It it. Okay, um, continue to stab it, I guess. I, I don't think there's a way to kill this thing. There's no way. There's no fucking way. What the fuck? I just started. I just started. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. I released all my energy. Oh my god. Oh my god, holy shit. Can we do it? Can we do it, please? Please tell me we can do it. Please tell me this is enough. Please. 600 damage. That wasn't that hard. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I just found this YouTube comment that just said just attack normally and use hero to heal everyone. 
and once you get enough, um, so everyone's alive, because apparently you need to, all the energy to, all you need, you need everyone alive to release all your energy, and then you just kind of attack, just full on, and then, that was awesome. 26,000, holy shit, sprout one more masks. Lucky Slice, oh my god, Team Spirit, oh my god, that was... Oh my god, I never want to fucking do that again. I never want to do that again. Apparently, this is a really big problem when you're underleveled. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. Okay, why can't I... Oh, Jesus, you gotta walk around the poles, okay. God, it actually took me like half an hour to beat that. Oh... Um, Sprout Mole Village, I think that's what that says. I have no idea. But, um, this is really pretty. Holy crap. I love it. Oh, hey. Oh my god, it's a 2D basil instead of a, I don't know. It's a sideways basil. Would I like to save? Yes, please. That was awful. Never want to do that again. And also... Some juicy tomatoes. Would you like to eat some? I would love to eat some, and I probably have to save after this, but it's fine. Alright. These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know? Sprout moles really love tofu. I brought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Ooh, I got tofu. Huh, so talking to Mari actually is pretty useful. Alright. Um, no, let's let's go save. My speak of the save, yes. Save, save, yes. Hell yes. Alright. Um, who are you? A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ah, hello, stranger looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sri Art's um, quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold out ever ex extra extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. Oh, she's adorable. It's the same she's kind of a bitch in the real life version of this story. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. It looks interesting, but now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero. We could at least check it out. Please, 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 Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem, if I may have your show tickets, please? Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprelmole, sir. We have our tickets right there, right here. Aubrey reached into her pocket and took out the show tickets. What's with everyone reaching into my pockets? Jesus. Here you go, Mrs. Sprelmole. Oh. Oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You- You all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I've ever seen. <laughs> Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Oh, that was awesome. Um, what is this? Oh, what the fuck? Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Okay then. There's something here. Do you want me to do something here? Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the, um, Sprout Mole Colony in the in other world. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you help? Sure. Thank you, strange creatures. I'll be sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. Got a care package. Cool. Make sure it gets to him safely. Cool. I'll make sure to do that, maybe. Okay, can I go down here? Oh, wow. Wow, this place is deep. Holy shit. This wall is nice and cold. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh my god. So fancy. So awesome. Alright, um... Where are... Is this like the Sprout Mole town? I don't know. I don't... I feel like interacting with these people would be a waste of time, honestly. So let's go and... Let's go to the, the show. I want to go to the show. I think this show is up right up, up here. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Can I go through? There we go. Oh man, I'm so excited. We get to see the the great um, uh, the great um. Yes, we get to we we get to see him. I oh here, oh wow! Look at this huge stadium. It's as amazing as imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start. I can't wait to see this awesome 
thing. Which probably is going to be the worst thing I've ever experienced, but whatever. <sighs> oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to a spectacular episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. I clap along. I clap along. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. Rest in peace, my friend. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. And now, on to the show! <laughs> oh, this is great. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest of Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to catch your sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Contestant 1 is a loyal uh, local of the Sproutmole Village. He's coming at it in at 3 feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos, and he enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for Contestant 1. I thought no one was going to clap for a second. That was going to be hilarious. Contestant number two. Yep, you guessed it. Also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet. Three feet and one whole inch. Our ho his hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His fi favorite com color combination is brown and green. And he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Hmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant four. I shall also clap for him, yes. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from the underworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. Hey, I remember him, I remember him. He was the one who was always blocking the way. And now, it's time for the moments you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She excludes grace, and she truly has the most pro- I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that, and she's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give it a big warm welcome to this one, the only, the magnificent, sweetheart! Well. Uh-oh. Oh no, Snaily! Oh fuck. Is he? Oh no, there's a blackout. What do we do? We have to know what happens next. Wait, let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help! Help! Well, maybe we should just take a look around in case. Oh my gosh, you are just help. <laughs> I gotta save the show. We gotta save the show, everyone. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of the Sprout Mole Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Oh, don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. Genius. Genius. Just genius, Hero. Absolute genius. Alright. Let's go down here. And... Alright. Um, that's a kitchen. That don't look like nothing. Oh, hey, it's a tofu stand. Hello, sir and madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? We'll call you exactly one clam. I have plenty of clams. I would love to buy some. Thank you for your patronage. You got tofu. Awesome. I've never had tofu, and it probably tastes disgusting. Let's see. Anything else? This is laundry. What's down here? That's flamingos and stuff. Oh. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Okay, though this is the gym area. Oh. This looks interesting. The wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in. That seems like the best 
thing to do. Hey, I think we brought the power back on. Did we? That looks like power. What did I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Huff, huff, huff. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, what's this? Do you want to exercise with your friends? I would love to exercise with my friends. Woo, we're doing so quick. Oh, wow. Sounds great. We're getting that nice workout. I hope this actually... Oh, hero's done. Hero, hero's done for. Don't worry. You'll, you'll all get... Someone will give out eventually again. Maybe. Oh, Kel's running pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think this is ending anytime soon. <laughs> Never do that again. Exercises for losers. Just like me. I'm not a loser. I am a loser, actually. I don't exercise at all. Oh my god, it's a joke. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up for itself? It was too tired. It's gonna have some... Yeah, I, I, I get it. I know. The joke book. Yeah, I get it. Joke books. Yeah, apparently there's some sort of joke book around here somewhere. I don't... I'm not gonna be bothered for it. But I think we brought the power back on, so let's go bring it back in and watch the show. Oh. What the hell is it? What is- Oh, what had happened? There was a dude just dancing. What is this? What- what are- what is this? Someone, please help me! I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. Yes, you! You there, in the striped pants. You're a magnificent beast. Oh, yes. Ho ho ho. Well, look at you, you'll do just fine. Huh? Wow, uh, why, why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, would you help out a poor lowly mole? I am in desperately need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Now please come this way, chop chop. Wait, can I hold on? Can my friends come too? Yes, your friends. You here are all here to see sweet ass quest, yes? So if so, we will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir, we must make haste. Time is short. Hero has left the party. Uh oh. I feel like. Are you ready to take your front row seats? I think I know what's gonna happen. I think I know exactly what's gonna happen. I think I, I know. I know exactly what's gonna happen. If. So. Because Snaily's fucking dead. It's gonna be Hero. And. My assumption is Sweetheart is gonna take Hero. And it's gonna be a curl kerfuffle. That's my guess, because I am genius at this. A true sweetheart fans, we apologize for the sort of information. Please wake we'll back to the scheduled program. During the break, we forgot to inform you that a tragic accident occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> at this time, we announced the sudden loss of Contestant 3. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. <laughs> he got struck by lightning underground. But the show must go on! And now, welcome back to Sweethearts Crush Our Hearts. This better be the greatest thing I've ever seen. Please give a warm welcome to con our new contestant 3. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in Shining Arva. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh man. Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk, standing in at a whopping 5'7". <laughs> his passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. If that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. <laughs> and now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. <laughs> she emits beauty. She excludes grace. Okay. She tr okay, we're, we've, we've done this all over. Yes, we know who you're talking about. The one, the only, the magnificent. Ho oh, ho ho! She's beautiful! Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Okay, yeah, uh ho. -oh. An excellent entrance, my lead. Ah, yes, it is me! My Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart! Yeah, you're the best! Ho oh, ho ho, god, you're me. Sweetheart, we have just brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values the most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. 
Do you, contestant one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant one, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Playing hard again, I see. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall? My, that is too much short. Send him off. To the dungeon! What did you say? The, the, the dungeon? He's gonna get his fucking dick cut off. Um, they're, they're gonna kill him. He's, he's getting killed. Help me! He's getting killed. He, he just went into the dark. He's dead. Now let's contest it too. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that that man was just publicly executed? Because a woman didn't like him? We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. Contestant 2, would you please your alliance as we are for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one. This very being offends me. Take him away, boys. This man's getting executed, too! And he just ran for it. But he's, he's still dead. My contestant three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask you the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your alliance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events. This must be fate. A match made in heaven. Wait, but I just said... Ah, uh, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what is your name again? Huh? It's, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero, my hero. We must go to my chambers at once. Guards, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, help! Do something, please! Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you may have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Uh, uh, I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna get fucking sent to the dungeon. Hero's gonna get sent to the dungeon, I know it. Excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am? Ah, yes, my lovely hero. I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Ah, uh, yes, that's so nice of you. I mean... Sai, why do I have to do this? <clears throat> Sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my friend, prince? Hi, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago and, well... I have to reject your, um, offer. Oh, pish posh. Don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It- it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I- I don't want to marry you. I knew this was gonna- Uh-oh. This- this is preposterous. No, this- this is blasphemy. You dare reject, sweetheart? Everybody loves Sweetheart. You hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! <laughs> hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero. He belongs to us. What's this now? Is this a non-Sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ha, <laughs> I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you. Lot. First, you make a fool out of me. Then you interrupt me during my own show. <laughs> I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. Now you've done it, Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh man now we're all stuck in the dungeon i'm sorry guys it's my fault that we're all in this mess no it's not hero we, no one could have predicted that, that would happen uh oh oh no oh ho, ho. you fools don't you recognize me it's me rosa the number one sweet art find in the world. I told you that you could play. You could all pay for crossing me. <laughs> Curses, we've been bamboozled. <laughs> I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. <laughs> it's true, what they say. Revenge is sweet. 
Now rot you peons, rot in the dungeon forever. Oh, dang it. How are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on guys, let's think about it. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked, would they? They're gonna leave the gate unlocked, aren't they? What? They- I'm- Oh, freak! Do it, 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 um, fine, we'll fight you. I'll fucking fight you. I'll fucking kick your ass, Harold. Uh, you'll, you'll, you won't feel the wrath. The wrath of the Amori gang. The, what was that? Okay, this man just protected himself. That's not how that's supposed to go. But okay, it's fine. Fight him. It's fine. It's fine. Apparently, if you, I also, I found out if you hold down Z, you can just attack, um, pretty quickly. Mm, man. This is so exciting. Wouldn't you say so? Like, okay, let's go do some skills. Fuck it. Stab Harold. You can... Eh, uh, just... It's everyone attack. Fuck it. Also, Kel is like the lowest level in everyone. I don't under... I don't know what that means, but... Are you dead now? This man just... Um... Oh! Hey, you're happy! Oh, and he's dead. Awesome. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Well, that was fucking... Um... Wait, could... Hold on. Hold on, no. Would it be? He's still alive. Wow, okay. You got ramen. Why is ramen always in the fucking toilets? What the fuck? Oh, hey, there's a staircase down here. Or there's a fucking thing. or something. That doesn't seem like a very safe... Okay. I... No! Hey, it's Mari. Mari, Mari, help us. We're stuck in the dungeon. Oh, no. Press the button. <gasps> Yay, thank you. There you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Oh, I'd love to do a picnic with you. <gasps> Are these pickles? I would love to eat a whole jar of pickles. My favorite snack in the entire game. In the entire thing, everything. Now let's go in the video here. Mari's right, picnic basket. I would love to save. Let's save. Alright, I'll end the video here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, and that is all I have to say about that. So, uh, yeah, you better like the video, comment, enjoy the rest of the video, um, for what little it is going to offer you. And, uh, yeah. My Damn it.